What's up guys, this is Juancho, uh, bringing you guys another video from online last night. I had a really good session last night. I final tabled three tournaments, won two of them actually. Uh, one was a 10k guaranteed and one was a 3k guaranteed. Uh, one of them paid a little over 2000 and the other one paid $910. So it was a really good day for me. In this final table actually, um, we were um, heads up and I've learned that Heads up, actually, um, it's a complete different game from um, regular ring games, or even, you know, four-handed, five-handed. It is so different, and I actually didn't feel like I was good at it. Um, I I had to play a lot of heads up, I had to practice a lot of hyper turbos, a lot of heads up, um, cash, and sit and goes, in order for me to get better at it. And um, I played this hand, we're pretty even in chips at this point, I think that... Um, uh, right here, I'm rise and grind, and I had 366,000, and he had 293,000 with the blinds 4 and 8,000. So it was super close in terms of chips, and I think this pot is kind of what gave me the confidence to uh, take off and, and win the tournament here. And I'll, I just wanted to show you guys and see what you guys thought and maybe commented on it. Um, 800 ante, 4 and 8,000 blinds, I'm on the bottom. I'm pretty much going to open with just about any playable hand here. I will fold the junk hands. I don't want to limp, and you will never see me limp. Um, I'm going to always try to come in with the same raise, the same, um, uh, I'm going to min raise. I'm not going to change my raises depending on my hands. I'm always going to be pretty consistent with how I play a hand, whether I have aces, whether I have seven high. I think that's super important. And I came and min raised that. And I got th uh, three bet actually to twenty thousand more. I actually decided to go ahead and call in position here. I think a hand like Jack Ten plays really well. It definitely could be a dominated hand. However, heads up, I think that your range can be a little more open, especially when you're in position in the hand. I decided to flat here, and we go see the flop. And the flop ends up being king nine three two spades. I have no spade in my hand, so basically I flopped a gut shot. Um, an offsuit queen would give me the nuts. Um, obviously, I have a queen of spades for a dirty out and three outs for true outs. And I decided uh, he bet 30,000 basically, which is roughly below half pot. And I actually decided to float. For those of you that are not familiar with floating, floating basically means that I'm gonna, I'm not trying to hit my queen for the record. I'm not. Actually, I'm looking for. Uh, scare cards to come out on the board, like a spade or, or, or you know, or board, uh, cards that make straight, you know, uh, maybe maybe a, a jack or a ten actually would be a good card, uh, even if that gives me a pair, but uh, definitely straight cards or flash uh, or spade flash draw cards would actually be good scare cards. Um, and I'm looking to float here to try to win the pot in a later street. And I decide to peel one off and just call. I don't want to raise here just in case I get, you know, jammed on. I'm just going to float here and see what the action is on the turn. The turn is an interesting card. It's an offset ace. Obviously, I still have nothing. And this is a, hand, a card that either could scare him or could make his hand if he was actually betting with ace high. He, interestingly enough, checks... And on this spot, I'm I'm kind of afraid that if I am gonna bet the turn, I'm gonna get check raised, and now I can't call or continue with the hand. So I have had already made up my mind that I was gonna somehow win the pot on the river, and I decide to check behind. And the river is kind of a perfect card. Now the ace peels off in case he didn't have an ace. The flush gets there, a three gets there for bottom pair. Um, you know, I think that this is the perfect card to continue. If he bets, I would I already made up my mind depending what his sizing was. I would have shoved all in. If his sizing was small, I would have just raised. Maybe jammed anyway. But to my surprise, he checks. And I decide to bet. And when I bet, I think it's very important right here that you guys understand that to begin with, I had a plan to win the pot on a later street. Had I gotten cold over here, I would have been completely fine with my decision. I made a play, I made a conscious decision to win the pot on a later street. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out. But he had to have something to call me here with. And that river card is perfect, the turn card is perfect. There's a lot of things that I can represent that I was able to raise a call a three bet preflop with. And I decided to bet pretty big actually. I bet two thirds of the pot, 90,000 basically. And now he definitely, he can't really shovel in without a hand. He has to, and he can't really call without any showdown value either. So he either has to give up on the hand 
and I have to follow through with it. I see a lot of people attempting display, but then not following through with it. And I think that bottom line is you must have a plan. You have to have a plan for this hand. And I decided to bet two thirds pot and he folded. And I was really happy with that because that pot now gave me full control of the situation. Now I was playing with, uh, let's see, 300 and basically 33,000 in chips and now he had 226 and after this I just ran him over. It was actually a, a, I think a crucial part for me to to win with nothing jack high. I mean maybe I hadn't beat and maybe I was bluffing with the best hand but that's not the point. The point is that I had a plan and I followed through with it. I had already made up my mind if he bet the river I was gonna jam and I was already made up my mind that no matter what car if any scare card came out, if the board ran out dry, there was a good chance I would have given up in the hand. But once the scare card come out, I have to get in there and represent, especially when I floated on the flop with nothing. And you have to be able to have a plan. Always have a plan. And that is basically the basic instruction for today. Heads up is way different. I hope this helps. I hope you guys understand that. And let's comment on this and let's get the instruction rolling. Okay? Uh, best of luck at the tables, guys. I am on my way to... Um, a game on the south side of town. I'm going to play for a little bit and then tomorrow I leave for Evansville uh, to play the MSPT main event. Okay.